वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल मिस मेडिसिन टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट लास्ट मिनट रिविजन फॉर एम्स ऑप्थेलमोलॉजी एक्यूट रेड आई देर आर मेनी कंडीशंस दैट कैन लेट टू रेड आईज सीरियस एंड नॉट सीरियस मे बी पेनफुल और पेनलेस एंड डिटेल एग्जामिनेशन रिक्वायर टू सॉर्ट दैम आउट पेनलेस It is rare for a painless red eye to require an urgent same day ophthalmological assessment. Diffuse conjunctival redness, blepharitis, very common, non-specific, generalized inflammation of the eyelids. Treat with daily lid hygiene, low dose tetracyclines or doxycyclines. lubrication as required with routine referral ectropion lid turning outwards with exposure of conjunctival sac i may be sore and watery routine referral and may require surgery and this is entropion last one was ectropion and this is entropion lids turning inwards and eyelashes may abrade cornea check condition of cornea with fluorescence if corneal staining tape black eyelid away from the cornea and refer same day and in ectropion lid turnings outward act outward at end inwards lids turning inwards don't confuse with that tracheases in growing eyelashes epilate when touching cornea lubricate with routine referral you can see in this picture eyelid lesions calesians or stry provided there is no overt eyelid infection or inflammation and no ocular involvement routine referral consider topical antibiotics pterygium a raised white or yellowish fleshy lesion at the limbus that may become painful and red if inflamed treatment lubrication and sunglasses routine ophthalmological referral for further management corneal foreign body and ocular trauma remove foreign body may be under the lid so need to avoid the eyelid treat with topical antibiotics check for more severe ocular trauma such as penetration of the eye treat with topical antibiotics if trauma area is small if trauma area is small you can treat with topical antibiotics refer if unsure beware signs of perforation of the eye eye soft iris protruding and irregular pupil chemical injury copious irrigation needed subconjunctival hemorrhage blood under the conjunctiva usually unilateral localized and sharply circumscribed underlying sclera not visible no inflammation pain or discharge vision unchanged possible association with minor injuries including rubbing common with use of antiplatelet agents and anticoagulants management reassure check blood pressure blood coagulation studies or inr if indicated routine referral only if conditions worsens or pain develops you can see in this picture subconjunctival hemorrhage corneal erosion symptoms something went into the eye 
very sore watering signs i red and watery area where corneal epithelium not intact stains with fluorescein management check no foreign body topical antibiotics and can pad i although this does not help healing see if pain or vision worse herpes simplex keratitis symptoms sore red eye not sticky signs abnormal corneal epithelium in dendrite pattern which stain with fluorescein management topical encyclovir avoid topical steroids and see ophthalmologist the following day bacterial corneal infection symptoms eye sore and red often in contact lens wearer vision may be affected signs white area on cornea may be peripheral or central management urgent same day refer to ophthalmologist marginal keratitis symptoms sore red eye may be sticky may or may not have blurry vision signs white areas on periphery of cornea which may be thinner than normal usually associated with blepharitis management refer to ophthalmologist on the same day viral conjunctivitis contact history with recent eye or upper respiratory tract infection symptoms especially in children's highly contagious symptoms burning sensation and watery discharge different from purulent exudate in bacterial infections classically begins in one eye with rapid spread to the others often preauricular lymphadenopathy signs eye red and watery swollen conjunctiva particularly in lids management will resolve on own and treatment aimed at comfort cool compresses regular lubricants without preservatives antibiotics drops if indicated resolution may take weeks refer if photophobia and decrease in visual acuity severe disease lasting longer than 3 weeks allergic conjunctivitis symptoms eyes itch and are red and sore signs swelling and signs of atopy like asthma eczema management remove allergens where possible topical antihistamines cool compresses refer if not better in 3 days bacterial conjunctivitis symptoms eye red and sticky often bilateral signs red eyes with purulent discharge no corneal or anterior chamber involvement systemically well management regular hygiene to minimize secretion build up topical antibiotics for 5 days refer if vision is affected if does not improve with treatment after 2 days or worsens and if after treatment for 5 days dry eyes common chronic ocular condition that is often caused by or coexist with other ocular diseases symptoms soreness grittiness often worsens in the evening signs depends on degree of dryness if not sever i injected with poor tear film fluorescein staining of corneal epithelium management usually good relief with lubricants put in as often as necessary to relieve symptoms use preservatives free drops if more than 4 times per day and ointment on eyeball before sleep routine referral if symptoms not improved
acute angle closure glaucoma symptoms painful eye with systemic symptoms including headache nausea and vomiting signs more common in asian races i read very tender and feels hard on palpation cornea usually has hazy appearance and anterior chamber is shallow with irregular semi dilated pupil management urgent on the same day refer to ophthalmologist ciliary injection scleral involvement scleritis symptoms eye pain which radiates to head and wakes them at night signs i is red may have nodules and necrotic patch sclera may be discolored and it tend to palpation associated history of rheumatoid arthritis vascular or connective tissue disease management urgent on the same day or refer to ophthalmologist you can see how scleritis looks in diffuse nodular or necrotizing acute anterior uveitis or iritis symptoms photophobia eye red and sore vision may or may not be affected signs red eye with ciliary injection around iris anterior chamber appears cloudy from cells and flare management urgent on the same day hypopion visible accumulation of white cells inferiorly seen in sever uveitis urgent on the same day refer for investigation of infection inflammation or ocular malignancy high fever symptoms i is red severe loss of vision following trauma consider non accidental injury in children and blood dyscaresis signs i has visible blood inside and cornea may also be stained i may be very sore if intraocular pressure is increased management bed rest ipad urgent on the same day acute visual disturbance or sudden loss of vision transient ischemic attack amaurosis fugax symptoms monoocular visual loss that usually last seconds to minutes but may last 1 to 2 hours vision returns to normal signs essentially normal fundus exam an embolus within a retinal arteriole is only occasionally seen other neurological signs associated with ischemia of cerebral hemispheres investigation and management assessment of cardiovascular risk factors blood count electrolytes lipids fasting blood sugar thrombophilia seen echocardiogram carotid doppler studies start aspirin referral to neurology cardiology or vascular surgery as appropriate patients with recurrent episodes of amaurosis fugax require immediate diagnostic and therapeutic intervention amaurosis fugax is temporary loss of vision in one or both eyes central retinal vein occlusion symptoms sudden and painless loss of vision signs dilated tortuous veins cotton wool spots optic disc swelling and retinal hemorrhage visible in all four quadrants which may obscure much of fundus detail predisposing factors increasing age hypertension and diabetes investigation and management screen for diabetes and hypertension exclude glaucoma routine referral for an ophthalmological opinion
सेंट्रल रेटिनल आर्टरी ओक्लूजन सिम्टम्स सडन एंड पेनलेस लॉस ऑफ विजन साइंस विजुअल एक्यूटी सिक्स बाय सिक्सटी रिलेटिव एफ्रेंट प्यूपिलरी डिफेक्ट आर एड पी डी फंडस एग्जामिनेशन पेल रेटिनल एबनॉर्मल एंड असिमेट्रिकल रेड रिफ्लेक्स चेरी रेड स्पोर्ट एरिया ऑफ सीलियो रेटिनल स्पेरिंग इन्वेस्टिगेशन एंड मैनेजमेंट अर्जेंट ऑन द सेम डे ई एस आर एंड सी आर पी टू एक्सक्लूड जाइंट सल आर्ट्रिटिस अर्जेंट ऑन द सेम डे एंड रेफर टू ऑप्थेलमोलॉजिस्ट एनी इमिडिएट ट्रीटमेंट इज पॉसिबल टी आई ए वर्क अप ऑप्टिक न्यूरिटिस सिम्टम्स पेनलेस लॉस ऑफ विजन ओवर अवर्स टू डेज विजन लॉस कैन बी सप्टल और प्रोफाउंड ऑर्बिटल पेन यूजली एसोसिएटेड विद आई मूवमेंट साइंस यूजली फीमेल्स एज एटीन टू फोर्टी फाइव मे हैव अदर फोकल न्यूरोलॉजिकल साइंस रिड्यूस विजुअल एक्टिविटी एंड कलर विजन रिलेटिव एफ्रन प्यूपुलरी डिफेक्ट आर ए पी डी सेंट्रल स्कोटोमा ऑप्टिक डिस्क मे लुक नॉर्मल रेट्रोबल्बल न्यूरिटिस और बी स्वलन इन्वेस्टिगेशन एंड मैनेजमेंट कंप्लीट ऑप्थेलमिक एंड न्यूरोलॉजिकल एग्जामिनेशंस ब्लड काउंट राइट्रोसाइड सेडिमेंटेशन रेट ई एस आर अर्जेंट रेफरल टू ऑप्थेलमोलॉजिस्ट indicated for further mri investigations and intravenous steroid treatment may be required there are no indications for oral corticosteroids as initial treatment ischemic optic neuropathy aion or giant cell arthritis transient visual loss may precede an ischemic optic neuropathy or central retinal artery occlusion symptoms temporal headache scalp tenderness jaw claudication fever and night sweats generalized muscle pain and weakness signs typically affects patients greater than 50 years may include the following afferent pupillary defect poor visual acuity and often count fingers only palpable and tender non pulsatile temporal artery swollen pale optic disc investigation and management immediate esr crp and be classically but not always raised in gca referral to ophthalmologist for urgent on the same day steroid treatment and temporal artery biopsy retinal detachment occurs when there is separation of sensory retina from the retinal pigment epithelium most common etiology is a predisposing retinal hall tear often associated with myopia but may follow trauma symptoms painless loss of vision the patient may have encountered a recent history of increased number of visual flutters or visual flashes there may be a dark shadow in the vision of the affected eye signs gray area of retina which is where it is detached vision reduced if retina detaches and involves the macula management refer to ophthalmologist the eye in systemic hypertension mild hypertensive retinopathy generalized arterial narrowing focal arteriolar narrowing av nickling opacity of arteriolar wall copper wiring systemic associations or one to stroke coronary heart disease and death moderate hypertensive retinopathy any type of hemorrhage microaneurysm 
कॉटन वूल स्पॉट एक्जुडेट्स और कॉम्बिनेशन सिस्टेमिक एसोसिएशन और मोर देन टू स्ट्रोक्स कोग्नेटिव डिक्लाइन डेथ फ्रॉम कार्डियोवेस्कुलर कॉजेस सीवर हाइपर टेंसिव रेटिनोपैथी साइंस ऑफ मॉडरेट रेटिनोपैथी प्लस ऑप्टिक डिस्क स्वेलिंग स्ट्रॉन्ग एसोसिएशन विद डेथ द आई इन डायबिटीज क्लासिक फीचर्स ऑफ बैकग्राउंड रेटिनोपैथी विद द फ्यू एक्जुडेट्स लेफ्ट पिक्चर एंड मोर सीवर इन द राइट पिक्चर यू कैन सी विद हेमोरेजिस वीनस बीडिंग and cotton wool spot severe diabetic myelopathy with exudates and clinically significant macular edema left picture and another eye after macular laser right picture showing laser burns severe proliferative retinopathy left picture with new vessels arising from optic disc and right picture shows lots of laser burn used to destroy the peripheral ischemic retina and cause the new vessels to regress now we will discuss about key points cataracts snowflake cataract diabetes mellitus rosette cataract trauma christmas tree pattern myotonic dystrophy sunflower cataract wilson's disease oil dropped cataract galactosemia extraocular muscles intortors of the eye superior oblique and superior rectus action of superior oblique abduction inertion and depression nerve supply of superior oblique trochlear fourth cranial nerve levator palpebral superioris is supplied by third cranial nerve oculomotor nerve muscle attached to posterior tarsal margin muller's muscle pupils argel robertson pupil small pupils irregular in shape no reaction to light and accommodation reflex present arp marcus gun pupil pupillary escape affected pupil may paradoxically dilate when light source is swung from eye to eye normally it constricts defect anterior to optic chiasm angles of eye visual angle alpha angle and kappa angle visual eye angle subtended by object at nodal point of lens alpha angle between visual axis and optical axis kappa angle between pupillary axis and visual axis. ophthalmological test direct ophthalmoscopy image is virtual and erect magnified 15 times indirect ophthalmoscopy image is real and inverted magnified 5 times it is done for examination of periphery of retina up to ora serrata keratometry measures curvature of cornea electronistatogram graph of movement of eye anomaloscope detects color blindness retinoscopy objective assessment of refractive state of eye zonioscopy measures angle of anterior chamber tonometry measures intraocular pressure best in implantation of tonometry swinging flash test test pupil snell and chart test vision ishihara plates hardy rand rattler plates for color vision landolt's rings visual acuity in illiterate children macular function test cardboard test two point discrimination test amsler grid test maddox road test visual fields defects homonymous hemianopia homonymous quadrantopia and bitemporal hemianopia homonymous hemianopia lesions of optic tract 
incongruous defects. Homonymous quadrantropia is lesions of temporal lobe superiorly. Bitemporal hemianopia is lesions of optic chiasm. Homonymous hemianopia for optic tract and homonymous quadrantopia for temporal lobe. Don't confuse with that. Visual pathway, optic pathway, receptors, rods and cones present on retina. Thalamic nucleus for vision, lateral geniculate body, light reflex, excess light, goes to retina, then optic nerve, then optic chiasm, then optic tract. Some fibers from optic tract reach pretectal nucleus, part of superior colliculus, then each pretectal nucleus sends fibers to Edinger westfall nucleus, part of third cranial nerve, oculomotor nerve, then finally constriction of pupil, sphincter pupillae. Light reflex pathway is very important. Don't miss any point. Light reflex pathway is very important. Don't miss any point. Corneal reflex Light touching of the cornea or conjunctiva results in the blinking of the eyelids. Most sensitive part of eye, fovea, which contains photoreceptors. Cranial nerves, 3rd, 4th and 6th cranial nerve, 3rd, oculomotor, 4th, trochlear nerve and 6th, abducens nerve. 3rd cranial nerve, oculomotor cranial nerve, supplies all extraocular muscle except superior oblique and lateral rectus. Complete paralysis results in external ophthalmoplegia, inability to move the eye upward, inward and downward. Dropping of the upper eyelids due to paralysis of levator palpebris superioris, tosis. Pupillary sparing is a feature of diabetes mellitus. Fourth cranial nerve, trochlear nerve, weakness, paralysis of superior oblique muscle, which normally moves the eye downward and inward. Cranial nerve 6, abducens nerve, weakness, paralysis of lateral rectus, which normally rotates the eye laterally. Myopia. Rays of light are focused in front of retina. Size of eyeball is big. Complications of myopia, lattice and snail degeneration. Peripheral retinal degeneration. Treatment, radial keratotomy, small degree, soft lens and LASIK. Press biopia. Physiologically insufficiency of accommodation. Loss of power of accommodation. Due to loss of elasticity of lens capsule. Treatment is by convex lens. Conjunctiva. Hemorrhagic conjunctivitis by antirovirus, adenovirus and coxec virus. File lactanular conjunctivities by tuberculosis. TB, giant papillary conjunctivities, contact lens, angular conjunctivities, moraxella, spring cataract, horner trantus spots on bulbar conjunctiva, cobalt stone appearance of palpebral conjunctiva, papillary hypertrophy, type 1 hypersensitivity, Maxwell Leon sign, stringy. Rapid discharge. Trachoma characterized by the presence of limbal follicles. Herbert Spitz formed on cornea near limbus. Arlert's line conjunctival scarring in sulcus subtarsalis. Panus infiltration of cornea with vascularization. Safe strategies are surgery, antibiotics, facial cleanliness, 
environmental improvement drug of choice tetracycline local concentration 1% and azithromycin orally pterygium elastotoic degeneration with proliferation of vascularized granulation tissue stoker's line is seen primary open angle glaucoma mostly asymptomatic or progressive painless loss of vision genes implicated in pathogenesis optinurin gene and myoc gene early visual field defect isopteric contraction bearing of blind spot first line of treatment timolol beta blocker surgical procedure argon laser trabeculoplasty next angle closure glaucoma predisposing factors shallow anterior chamber may present as painful red eye with headache nausea vomiting pupil is semi dilated vertically oval and fixed surgical procedure of angle closure glaucoma laser iridotomy and surgical iridectomy keratoconus protrusion of central part of cornea with thinning corneal nerves are visible keratoconus features munson sign and flusher sign papilloedema seen in raised intracranial pressure or tension intracranial infections like cavernous sinus thrombosis cerebral abscess clinical features of papilloedema headache nausea projectile vomiting papilloedema visual field changes are enlargement of blind spot progressive contraction of the visual field disc findings of papilloedema blurring of the margins of optic disc hyperemia of disc and elevation of the disc mushroom or dome shaped papillitis or optic neuritis pseudo papillitis is seen in hypermetropia features relative afferent pupillary defect marcus gunn pupil complete afferent pupillary defect optic nerve lesions uvitis anterior uvitis is associated with juvenile rheumatoid arthritis and enclosing spondylitis myotic pupil treatment of uvitis steroids drug of choice followed by midriatics steroids reduces inflammation and scarring dilation of the pupil by atropine reduces pain and prevents synke formation posterior uvitis is associated with sarcoidosis vogat koyanagi harada syndrome disease of melanocyte containing tissue and behcet's syndrome sympathetic ophthalmitis so in sympathetic ophthalmitis ciliary body is injured it's seen after penetrating injury in ciliary region it is very dangerous region first sign of sympathetic ophthalmitis is keratic precipitates or retrolental flare it may be present as difficulty in reading from one eye after 3 4 weeks of injury to the other eye retinoblastoma rb it may be bilateral in 30 to 40 percent cases particularly familial ones Knudsen's hypothesis is related to retinoblastoma. Most common manifestation of retinoblastoma is leukocoria or amurotic cat's eye reflex. Treatment of diffuse retinoblastoma: enucleation, removal of eyeball with portion of optic nerve from orbit. Treatment of small retinoblastoma is brachytherapy. treatment of bilateral 
retinoblastoma and metastatic disease is chemotherapy diabetic retinopathy fundus examination in diabetes mellitus and iddm as early as possible and iddm 5 years after diagnosis of diabetes mellitus and iddm is non insulin diabetes mellitus and iddm is insulin dependent diabetes mellitus incidence of diabetic retinopathy increases with disease duration hiv and ocular manifestations most common abnormal finding on fundoscopic examination is cotton wool spots most devastating consequences of hiv infection on eye is cytomegalovirus retinitis blindness most common cause of ocular morbidity in india is refractive error most common cause of blindness in children in india is vitamin a deficiency who definition of blindness is visual acuity of less than 3 by 60 snellen most common cause of blindness in adults in india is cataract trauma to orbit features of trauma to eye is vosius ring concussion of eye, eye lenses comitio retinae or berlin's edema concussion injury and d shaped pupil iridodilatiasis pharmacotherapy in ophthalmology is shortest and quickly acting midriatic tropicomide midriatic with no cycloplegia phenylephrine midriatic used as a ointment in children is atropin most common complication of topical steroid is glaucoma terms and associated conditions bull's eye maculopathy chloroquine hold keratinopathy amiodarone arcus senilis old age squalbus ring decimate membrane kf ring wilson's disease angoid streaks pseudoxanthoma elasticum ring scotoma rhinitis pigmentosa scintillating scotoma migraine dalan foots nodule sympathetic ophthalmitis epidural dermoids golden hearts syndrome roth spots bacterial endocarditis sago greens alert signs in trachoma flesher rings keratoconus candle wax spots sarcoidosis and macular toxicity gentamicin quick review rosette cataract is seen in blunt trauma anterior posterior length of eyeball is 24 mm nerve supply of inferior oblique muscle is cranial nerve third epithelium of cornea stratified squamous non keratinized epithelium sphincter and dilator pupillae muscles are derived from neuroectoderm device used to measure curvature of cornea keratometry by temporal hemianopia is seen in lesion of optic chiasm most sensitive part of retina fovea angular conjunctivities is caused by moraxella catarrhalis ropi discharge is suggestive of spring cataral vernal keratoconjunctivities herbert's pits are seen in trachoma pupil in angle closure glaucoma is mid dilated vertically oval and fixed munson sign is seen in keratoconus laser used in after cataract and yag laser relative afferent papillary defect is seen in optic nudities drug of choice for acute anterior uveitis steroids most commonly intraocular malignancy in children is retinoblastoma irregular black spots of clumped pigment in the peripheral retina is seen in retinitis pigmentosa
most devastating complication of HIV infection of eye cytomegalovirus retinitis muscle commonly affected in thyroid ophthalmopathy is inferior oblique muscle most common cause of blindness in children in India vitamin A deficiency shortest and quickly acting midriatic tropicamide KF rings are seen in calcosis or Wilson's disease growth spots are seen in subacute bacterial endocarditis Dallan Fuchs nodule are seen in sympathetic ophthalmitis oral drug for trachoma azithromycin skirmer test is done for dry eyes the ability of eye to see two distant points distinctly is known as visual acuity epithelial lining of conjunctiva stratified squamous non keratinized epithelium Numular keratocyst is seen in herpes zoster. Neurotrophic keratitis involves trigeminal nerve. Recurrent corneal erosions are seen in corneal dystrophy. Esanthoamoeba keratitis is usually associated with contact lens users. HLA associated with anterior uveitis. HLA B27. Most serious complication seen in one eye. after traumatic injury to the other eye is sympathetic ophthalmitis vertically oval mid dilated and shallow anterior chamber is seen in primary angle closure glaucoma dislocation of lens in marfan syndrome is bilateral superior temporal second sight phenomenon is seen with nuclear cataract Cataract in diabetes is due to accumulation of sorbitol. Characteristics features of diabetic retinopathy is microaneurysm. Visual fields defect seen in pituitary tumor with suprasalar extension is bitemporal hemianopia. Flexner winter strainer rosettes on microscopy are seen in retinoblastoma most common cause of hemorrhagic conjunctivitis antiretroviral 70 most common cause of recurrent vitreous hemorrhage ails disease afferent limb of light reflex is through cranial nerve second lens used to correct presbyopia is convex a pupil responds to a accommodation but light reflex is absent This is Argel Robertson pupil. Latinoprost acts by increasing obvious scleral outflow of aqueous inability to complete close the palpebral aperture is known as legophthalmos. Drug used for preventing recurrence of pterygium is mitomycin C. Thank you.